All right, guys, got the uh, Rally Sport Armor mud flaps right here for the end. Got my friend's bug right here as well. Gonna be installing these today. I'm gonna check these out right now, see what they look like. Got some hardware in here, the instructions, and then the mud flaps as well with the end logo. You can only get these in Canada. I had to have these shipped over here to the US. Unfortunately, if you want to get these from any retailers here in the US, they're going to say uh, Rally Armor and not have the end logo. It's uh, Amzol Synthetics responsible for the amazing suspension work. Thank you. All right, so in the package, we already took the mud flaps out, but on each section, It'll show you which mud flap is supposed to go on which side. You can see we already have it laid down. I'm not really worried about setting these on the ground because they're going to get shit all over them anyways. So this is how we got it all set up right now. We're going to go ahead and put them on. So I went ahead and put the front mud flaps on last night. My buddy, they were a little bit of a pain in the butt. I would highly recommend that you do this during the day, not at night like I did. It was um, a big mistake. But anyways, so included in the kit, they had a little metal bracket that you put on the back right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's covered up by um, some foam that they included in the kit that you put along the side of the car right here so that way the mud flap doesn't hit this. But anyways, um, other than that, it's pretty simple. It's got two little, um, little screws that pop out towards the tire from right here that you can go ahead and you can see that the nut goes on and we go went ahead and put the original screws back in that's basically it for the front ones it's not too difficult the only problem that i had was the tape um not peeling off the back of the foam right here for these there's a little bit of adhesive on the back um which allows it to stick right here and the tape wasn't coming off so i did end up having to use some glue just so i could have some foam back there but do i think it's necessary i have no clue um here's how it looks though on the front you can go ahead and move this in if it's sticking out too much for you personally they give you the option of having a little extra space this is the passenger side and then here's how the driver's side looks so we got the end logo there and it sticks down pretty far so that way if this kicks up any rocks or dirt or anything it's not gonna hit especially any of the side of the car right here but um we're gonna go ahead and put on the back ones right now i'll go ahead and record this installation of the back mud flaps um, since I wasn't able to record uh, them last night, I just got tired and decided to go ahead and do this today, which I'll go ahead and install right now. I went ahead and put the jack underneath the car. It's not, not something you have to do. But in this case, I decided to go ahead and make that happen. Take off the wheel, give me a little bit more access to this back space right here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more helpful if you take the wheel off as opposed to just doing it with the wheel on. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mud flaps on and videotape the process. All right, so right here on the instructions, as soon as we remove the two screws, which we just did, the next step is to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put this little foam piece on the back end of the car right here, where the two screws would normally go. And it's just the little foam piece that it comes with, the adhesive on the back too. You can see we're gonna go ahead and just put these on right now.
So I went ahead and got the mud flap on here. You can see it's going to be three bolts. It's going to be the, not the original bolt that's going to be going here. It's going to actually be the one that's included in the kit. It's a little bit longer, but it has the same threading. So it'll go right in just like the OEM and you don't have to drill anything new. Um, I just wanted to show this really quick though. There's going to be a plastic spacer that is also included. That's gonna go behind this. I'll show you really quick. It's gonna look like that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this one right about here and push it up. And then I'll also put the screw in. Oh, I'll go grab that, but uh, I'm gonna go put the screw in and then it'll be set from there. And I got the last uh, nut on here too with the washer, which this piece back here looks like this. This is gonna be for the other side. But for that, you will need to push out that little piece right back here and go ahead and put the two washers and the nut on there. So that way you can have this extra spot right here for the uh, mud flap to hang on to. And then that's it. All right. So before I put the tire back on the wheel, I'll show you, this is how it's supposed to go. You got those three right there. You do not have to tighten these all the way down. You just want them nice and snug, just so that way it's on there pretty good. But that's how it looks with it. You can see it goes out pretty far. You can actually tuck it in a little bit more if you want, but I want to have mine sticking out. And that's what it looks like without. You can tell there's a pretty big difference with and without. There we go, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so I went ahead and put on this side and I managed to get it on without taking off the wheel um, since I did the other side and I realized how easy things fit um, and were easy to put on. I went ahead and tried it and it works. Um, definitely manageable, you can do it, but this is how they look on the car. Looks much better in my opinion. I love the mud flaps, I think it's gonna make the car stand out a little bit more and it gives it a little bit wider of an appearance since the tires are pretty skinny on here. Now that you can't really see them too well, it just gives it a much better look. But these were $250. I had them shipped from Canada over here to the US. I will include in the description the Hyundai dealership that I got these from in Canada and um, I would go ahead and order from them. Fantastic it's customer service. Did everything over the phone. Once they had the product in, they shipped it over here. It only took about two weeks. Um, I think that this is much better than getting the regular uh, Rally Armor mud flaps that just have their logo name at the bottom. This looks much cooler for the end models. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for this. Thank you for checking it out. No, I didn't really get to uh, show the installation for the front. If it was a little brighter outside since I did it last night, um, I definitely would have shown that. But anyways, regardless, thanks for checking it out.